Hello, hello. It's English Ben here from ESA Winter 2019, and you're just about to watch Tony Hawk's American Wasteland Story Easy. Welcome back, everyone, uh, to Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. This is hopefully going to be a uh, bit less of a train wreck than Riley's run. Where is he? Where is he? Shame on you, Rydog. Shame on you. Uh, with me, I have... Sharice. Sharice H. Okay. <laughs> just, uh, just adding that in there. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be playing on easy difficulty. Uh, if you remember, at uh, summer 2018, um, I had to use a save in order to start the game because of the weird timing of how the game works. Uh, but on easy, you don't need to do any of that stuff. Uh, you still would use a save in runs, but we can like start it uh, as you usually run uh, from a new game. So we're going to start. Uh, the time doesn't start yet, um, but there's just a cutscene so I can explain some stuff in the meantime. Uh, so yeah, so this is essentially going to be like any percent um, in the game. There are different difficulties, and not only is the goal difficulty different, but the actual uh, requirements that you need to go into each level is different. So in normal, uh, I had to do a lot more. Uh, this is just, just going to be like basically a, all the goals that you like. You know, you need to do at the absolute bare minimum in order to uh, complete the game. Uh, whereas like normal and sick difficulty, for example, is basically like 100%. Um, so yeah, so uh, character selection doesn't really matter. We just need to set up a couple of things um, before the timer starts. I don't personally agree with the way uh, the timer starts here. I think it should just start when you hit new game. But you know, I, I'm a good boy. Uh, I follow the rules. So this is just like a clothing tutorial, and uh, we just need to oh, change our hair. We trim so we'll just nice get, get, get a nice little, uh, nice little trim, and then we just hop into. Uh, hey Take your shirt off. You're yeah, we just need to go shirtless because it's free. Special? And then once we back out, we will start. All right, so we start off in Hollywood. Uh, basically, the lore of this game to start off is uh, you're with your good friend Mindy, who uh, Sharice is a big fan of. Um, <laughs> Sharice like has her. the hots for Mindy, apparently. Yes. I think I'm the only person who doesn't. Uh, so yeah, we just meet a couple of people, and they teach us how to do a couple of tricks. Uh, in this game, you're very limited by what you can do in terms of move sets uh, to start off. So a lot of it is, you know, like kind of locked away until we do certain tutorials. And then another thing um, is that we need to do sponsor challenges. There's a certain competition later on in the game where you need to do a certain amount of sponsor challenges to ac access it. But we're going to do a very specific route that allows us to, you know, do sponsor challenges that are out of the way without losing too much time. There's going to be a couple of times where we can't really gain or lose time, like in skate comp competitions. And we can use that uh, opportunity to go ahead and just improve our stats, which will not only make us able to access certain parts of the game that we need to access for the story, but also in order to uh, just be faster in general. Like, for example, uh, the speed stat in the game just dictates how fast you go, like your maximum speed, when you're in regular stance. Uh, switch stance is the basically the opposite, you're like your max speed when, you, when you're in switch stance. And a couple of other things, like Ollie is like how high you jump. It just makes things a bit easier. Hey man, and there's no reason not to do them because it doesn't gain or lose time. So, um, as you see, we, we got the stat menus uh, in Hollywood. We're going to get a couple more uh, throughout. But this is like a really good time to uh, set up the stats. Because right here, um, this is a basically a minute of... Basically, a, uh, a guy stole your bag with all your stuff in it. Uh, so you just have a skate competition against him. But as you can see, if I don't do anything, um, his score doesn't really go up. Like, he gets points, but it's like nothing. So I can just use this time to upgrade my stats by grinding, uh, ollieing, cave manning, etc. And then, as you can see, as soon as we got like 5,000 points, he gets a load as well. Uh, so we can just uh, chill for a little bit. So a couple of like universal strats that we'll be using for a lot of different stuff. Uh, one of them is called butt slapping, for lack of a better name. Shreesh, do you want to go into uh, more detail about that? Yeah, sure. I've, I've, uh, I've filled her in <laughs> and, uh, and a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, the good tricks like butt slapping. Uh, Don't take that the wrong way. No. You, you totally slap your butt. I slap my own butt, yeah, of course. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to give yourself a bit of confidence boost, you know. Mm -hmm. just, good job, babe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so butt slapping is when you roll off a ledge and then you have to do a flip or a trick and then you press 
A as much as you can so you can continuously go higher and higher. Yeah, it basically just gives you like a load of extra jumps worth of height uh, on top of where you need to go. So there's a couple of things that we need to do, uh, like extra um, along with, with the route. And some of them require you to get to like rooftops and stuff. So we can just like butt slap up to the roof instead of going around, for example. And then the next thing we need to do is graffiti spots. Uh, sure you want to go? I'm okay. going to those as well. She's, she's on fire right now. <laughs> Pure knowledge. So later on in the game, you're going to join a gang and you're going to require to do these graffiti. So there's three. You need to do three in each location or level. Yeah. And uh, you also get money from it. Uh, if you saw in the normal run, uh, we needed to use a homeless man who would give us money for doing tricks. But of course, the as we mentioned before, um, these skate tag things are like mandatory for the story anyway. And just doing those gives you enough money to complete the game on easy. So we don't need to deal with the homeless man, which is good because it's a lot of RNG involved. Um, you have to get pretty lucky to get a decent time uh, in those in those categories as it stands. So this is the last one here. And then as you'll see, once we complete the third one, um, it'll give us like a little text box saying like, you've completed all of them in this area. And we just need to go and do that in Santa Monica downtown, uh, Beverly Hills, and maybe one other that I can think of. But uh, yeah, so that's Hollywood done. Oh, onto Beverly Hills. We'll start with some more skate tags. And then essentially Beverly Hills is uh, it's a couple more tutorials, but the game masks it as like, you're only kind of friends right now are the people that you've met in Hollywood and Mindy, of course. Um, Mindy is so, like your only friend. <laughs> yeah, so we, we met a couple of other people, but they're more of like, you know, acquaintances. So instead, we're going to speak to Mindy here, who has a couple of friends. And they're all like, you know, pretty, pretty well uh, known skaters. They're pretty good in the local area. So they're going to like teach you a few tricks, essentially. Dave is my personal favorite. He's a good lad. Uh, he actually knows a really, really set of cool tricks that you see in a goal that you don't actually do in easy. Uh, but for some reason, they just made him do a bunch of like sticker slapping stuff. And then he doesn't even teach you how to sticker slap. So no idea why. Um, but I, I, they really undersold Dave, unfortunately. So for example here, there's a bunch of goals that you can do. And it's not linear. Um, you could do them in like any order. But certain goals uh, unlock certain other people. For, like. Like, say, for example, if you do, like, one from this guy, uh, you can't then do his other goal because he's, like, still in the first position. Uh, and some of them are mandatory no matter what. Unfortunately, usually it's the longer ones that are mandatory. Um, but So we try and, like, fit it into a route as much as possible. So, for example, in this, we're going to skip Murphy and Dave because they're kind of inconvenient to do for easy. So this is just sticker slapping and wall planting, as I mentioned before. Dave should be teaching you this. I don't know why he doesn't, but... He's a good lad anyway. Love Dev. And then this is where we're going to do a strat, essentially, where once you uh, complete, like, a tutorial, as you saw before, there was, like, a text box that you kind of had to, like, go, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I did that. Cool. I now have that unlocked. Cool. And then uh, I actually messed it up there, but I'll show it in a second. Uh, what you want to do is you want to finish and then end the goal right next to another goal. And then while the cutscene is kind of playing for the second goal, you can mash like all the text boxes away without losing any time. But uh, cool. now it's messed it up there, unfortunately. But we'll get them next time, for sure. Oh, give it a try. So this is flipping. Uh, not particularly useful. It just looks really cool. You can uh, do both at the same time there. Nice Doubles play. don't count, now unfortunately. Do it would be good roll. if they did. And then we'll go and see our boy Gail, who's uh, the Frenchman who teaches you a lot of parkour. Um, I guess the American Wasteland devs, like, every time a Tony Hawk game comes out, they want to add, like, some yeah, new man. extra stuff. And um, in Thor, it was mostly, like, parkour based. So you can, like, run up walls and you know, flip off walls and that kind of stuff. It's never really useful. Um, I don't think it really added too much to the game. So we'll try and do, like, the text box um, deal we know here. Just manual to keep the combo going and then speak to Gail right away and as you can see then it kind of like removes the text boxes you try a few times okay okay Gail <laughs> so he teaches you how to like run up walls and then wall flips uh, we're gonna like caveman our way um, each time because every single time you land on your feet 
He has like a weird animation of like, you know, like barely being able to land because he's like kind of new to this kind of stuff. Uh, so we just hop on our board instead. There's a homeless man. This is actually really good spawns if I were to like do a normal or sick run. Classic, you know, don't need him, so he spawns in like the best position possible. And then after this next goal is uh, where you'll see the first um, thing of butt slaps. The next graffiti guy that we need to get to in Beverly Hills is in like a really awkward spot on top of a kind of like a rooftop in the corner. But there's a, there's thankfully a uh, like a little planter over in this direction that you can butt slap off. Uh, you saw I saw it in the camera there, but I'll show it off in a second. Well, maybe you can do it. Try to jump on a pole and not a spin. So this is the Nata spin. Um, for a few seconds. Shouldn't actually be called the Nata spin because Natus wasn't the first person to do this. There's actually a article in Thrasher, I believe, of Mike Valley doing this way before Natus did. But of course, the Mike V spin doesn't quite sound as good, so I guess they went with Natus and gave him the credit anyway. So this is where the first butt slap is. As you see there, you just kind of like uh, roll off, do like a kick flip or a shove it or something like that. And then just ollie a bunch of times to get uh, up here. And then you could do it again just after this graffiti. Uh, this is a strat that I found. Nobody really does it in runs because it barely saves any time. But I'll go for it anyway because I'm, I'm an absolute beast. Didn't get it, unfortunate. But it uh, doesn't really lose any time. Next time. Yeah, we'll get him next time for sure. Be sure to tune in to uh, ESA 2020 winter <laughs> where I go for that trick again. Be sure to write it down in your calendars. So yeah, otherwise you just uh, grab the stat challenges, which we mentioned before. And then finish the last graffiti piece. The grass last graffiti piece. And hop down, and then this will be um, like a boneless tutorial. So if you're if you're if you're unfortunately bored about the tutorials, don't worry. We're just about to uh, just about to end like the tutorial zone. So again, we're just gonna do like bone dollies, but then we're just gonna wait until we get to the next section before we uh, end the combo. And we're told to him. Where is he? There he is. Watch and learn. Spine and last transfer, one no is just uh, front, flip. front flipping again. We can do a stat at the same time here because the Let's stat see. challenges require you to do a front flip at the same time. That's not a nose grab, Ben. Hard to do this on analog controls. There we go. So now we've proved to them that we're basically the best skateboarder alive. Um, and, you know, they all love us for it. Pretty rad combo. Awesome. Pretty rad. You nailed it. I haven't seen someone so dialed since that Rodney versus Day One video. You proved yourself to us, Hucker. Now follow us up here to meet Iggy. So the next section is essentially um, you gain access to the skate ranch, which is like basically a big park, um, but it doesn't have a whole lot in it uh, because it's like just kind of opened to uh, like your friendship group that you are now uh, with Mindy, Dave, and everyone like that. So you want to get like more uh, skate pieces for the ranch. So we need to go yeah, and cool. basically go and vandalize a lot of places. Uh, Sanchez is going to take us there. There's a common rule in this game where um, if there's like a sign or a law that says that you can't do something, if you just destroy it, that immediately makes it legal. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, there's going to be like a bunch of no skateboarding signs in the places where we need to go. So we're just going to destroy the signs. The police are never going to say anything and they're never going to replace them. So yeah. The, uh, Sharif's hey, in the practice room okay. was uh, mentioning about the kind of weird animations when you sketch Sanchez. But I, uh, I want to stop her from making those. Yeah, that. I want to stop her from making those comments again. Uh, she always has to make everything weird. Of course, you're just grabbing the tail here. You're not doing anything. Uh, not doing anything too uh, frisky. So we're just going to be skitching uh, to the next um, location. So this is a good time to read anything. Uh, is it Mark who's still on donations? Yes, sir. It is. Hello, Mark. <laughs> Hello, if you've got anything to read, be sure to uh, blast it right now. Yes, we've got uh, a uh, donation from Zach's Max. That's uh, $5 with a comment. Meep. Meep. Meep indeed. Short and sweet. I like it. Well, and we've got uh, Foley Null Horror. Interesting name with twin, twin, eh? Sorry, right, $20. Interesting hey. pronunciation. <laughs> Ooh. Foley got you good there. Time. Got you good there, Mark. Got you good, buddy. <laughs> $20 donated with the comments, I can't think of anything funny to put in here. Oh, that's Pepe hands. Can I fit one more in, Mark? I'll give you permission for one more if you've got one. I do not, but uh, I could take a second to uh, tell Plug everyone. Plug a sponsor, Austin, awesome, Matt. Why not? 
Yeah, our partner, ViewSonic Elite, which uh, provided uh, not only, yeah, include. Yeah. Come on, man, you, can do, you can do it, buddy. It's all right. Well, for one, the monitor that. Uh, oh, here we ben go. Excuses. <laughs> the, yep. the monitor that uh, Ben is playing this game on right now. They are ex our exclusive monitor partner for 2019 and 2020. And yeah, like uh, the monitor Ben's playing on, the one the consoles are connected to, and the ones you can see in the back, they were all provided by View Sonic Elite. So thank you to Dan. No. Thank you very much, Mark. So now we're back at the ranch. Uh, Sanchez ditched us, unfortunately, so we had to like skate all the way back. Uh, so we just get taught a few more things from Iggy, and then it's on to the vandalism. So uh, a couple of things to mention while we're just doing these extra couple of tutorials, and there's like a cutscene and everything, is um, two points in the game, uh, you get like opportunities to basically increase your speed. One of them is the stats that I mentioned before, and uh, one of them is kind of like you can do at any point is you need to make sure that you're out of switch stance whenever you can. Switch stance is just if you were riding a skateboard and looking like left, for example, uh, you would instead do it right. But your speed stat isn't influenced by uh, when you're in switch stance. It's only regular. So we need to make sure we're out of switch stance as much as possible. And not only that, but once we get into downtown, we'll unlock the special meter. And this, when you have the special meter filled, it uh, gives you extra speed on flat ground. So we basically need to make sure that we're in regular stance and the special meter is filled uh, whenever we can. And the bas basically the easiest way to do that is just by doing tricks. Um, so instead of like just riding around as fast as possible, we'll try and uh, do some cool little tricks on the way. So the first thing we need to get is the dino head. Uh, our boy Joey has this. Um, he's uh, kind of like a corrupt uh, construction worker. He is going to like haul it off to be trashed, but we can just pay him $100. And we'll take it. And then every single time you get a ranch piece, you can then teleport back to the ranch, which is uh, convenient, saves you skating all the way back. Oh man, I can't <coughs> wait to ride that thing. I love so now we go and see Murphy in Beverly Hills. Uh, this uh, goal is kind of awkward um, because if you mash to skip the cutscene after you've completed it, you can very easily crash the game. So I've got to be uh, careful here to not crash the game. I have saves, of course, but you know. Don't want to waste yeah, waste any that? time. He loosened the bolts on the spinning dude. So uh roll wide wall ride up here and uh oh. This is a tricky set of inputs. It looks uh I make it look uh very difficult as you can see. I'll go for it one more time and if not I'll just go for the uh spine transfer. This doesn't even save that much time, but it looks a lot cooler. Alright. Too busy goofing it. Got it first try in practice, classic, uh goofing it anyway. I so don't remember do that happening. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I don't remember ever making a mistake. Uh, just uh, bl blame the uh, you know, frame rate or something. That's what a lot of people do. All right, Sharice, are you ready for your uh, your first task? Yes. All right, so remember, this one is A, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to get Sharice here to do a goal. Yeah, you see have to tell me when to. See if she does it better than Morale last time. You have to tell me when to. All right, you ready? Stop and start again. Okay, so just stop mashing. Getting this thing. Um, oh, okay. Mash, 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 mash. Stop. Go. Faster. Incredible. Great stuff. I know. Everyone, first cla try. clap for Sharice. First <laughs> try. First try. Great stuff. I would say morale has, has got you. Uh, got yeah. Is is a bit ahead of you at this point, unfortunately, though. So sorry about that. But That's we'll, okay. We'll get him next time. She's better. Yeah. You got another chance. Because uh, on the on the second harder mashing goal, uh, morale yelled at me for having poor aim, even though it was Ooh. clearly her. It was clearly her that was not uh, not quite as good at mashing as she once was, washed up. So maybe maybe you can uh, you can you can redeem yourself. So yeah, uh, this is just gaining access to downtown. Uh, of, of course, when you, there's a blockade you need to get past, uh, we convince a mentally unstable man to fire a rocket at it, and now we get access to it. So as I mentioned before, um, like a specific mission that can crash my game. There's also quite like a universal way um, to crash your game pretty easily. And, and unfortunately, it's like one of the better strats in the game that uh, costs a lot of time, but it makes the game very prone to crashing. And that is simply just quitting out of the game in certain places. Whenever you quit out of the game, uh, when you load back in, it'll put you in like a certain checkpoint. And some of those checkpoints are like really convenient. Like you'll be on one side of the map, then you quit out and you spawn into another one. It's like teleporting. Yeah, it's essentially just teleporting. But sometimes when you quit out of the game in certain places, there's just like, it's 50-50. Like, you can just crash sometimes. And obviously, like, if you do that in an attempt, your run is completely dead. So, oh, this is the wrong goal. So here, it's just, uh, 
mimicking inputs. It might look confusing because like KKRR, you know, I'm playing a, on a controller, but it's just um, corresponding to whether you're kicking using the rail or grabbing. So if that uh, makes it any easier to track at home. You can actually, uh, Rushi's going to be mad at me because he actually taught me a way in order to make it show so the keyboard, uh, sorry, the controller input show, but I just never got around to doing that. Uh, sorry, if you're watching this, William, I'm sorry. He's lazy. Yeah. So another graffiti tag, uh, if you remember from doing them before, we're going to do them in downtown. But we're going to leave uh, one of them deliberately because it's much more convenient to do them once we get to the gang that Therese mentioned because we come back to downtown later on in the game. So yeah, uh, as I mentioned before, saving and quitting in the game uh, does save you a lot of time, but sometimes you can just crash. So I'm not going to be going for any of the save and quit strats. It's not worth it to do it on yeah. a run. There's a couple that... Like a I've, live run. Yeah, there, there's a couple that I have never crashed on in all the time that I've played this game, but I know that if I do it, I will crash and I will look like such a, you know, a dumb little boy that it's just not worth going for. So next kind of big character to introduce, uh, Master Zen. Uh, he teaches you a couple of things like how to stall on a rail and um, how to use your head to break certain objects. Uh, they're kind of, you know, not not corresponding to each other, but, you know, he's, he's a master for a reason. He knows what he's doing. And then uh, he's the guy who unlocks a special meter for us that I mentioned before uh, on this next goal here. So those were just uh, getting skate ranch pieces, but we don't actually need them. We just need to get to the uh, this goal here, which is the one that allows you to unlock special. So special is, is otherwise known as focus. As you can see here, I've gone into focus mode. Uh, this slows down the game. This is like its its intention. Like this is what you're supposed to use it for. You can like kind of slow down and make sure that your inputs are a lot better because you have more time to react. But obviously in a speedrun, you're never going to want to actually slow down the game. So we don't use it. We just use it to get increased speed instead. So as you can see now at the top left, uh, there's a special meter. And whenever it's glowing, that means I have the extra speed. So I want to keep that glowing as much as possible. And then once you complete this goal, as long as you uh, have the correct stats, which we should, in theory, um, we can now hop into the uh, Tony Hawk's Am Jam, which is like basically just like an amateur escape competition. Uh, like the first half of this game is basically you becoming like an amateur, amateur skateboarder, like wanting to go pro. Unfortunately, as we speak to the, uh, the judge here, there's like no more room. But uh, this guy comes along, starts flexing on us, and says like, you know, I could skate circle around, uh, you know, circles around you anyway. But uh, I'm a speedrunner, so I'm pretty good at this game. So I'm going to skate a circle around him. So you need to get 5,000 points, 10,000 points. And then on the last one, he just uh, bails super hard. And then you you basically just yoink his place. So he's like, not bad, but can you do this? And then... Ooh. Unlucky there, buddy. He'll get you so. next time. <laughs> he'll, he'll get him next time. Mission failed. So, yeah. so there's Tony Hawk. Uh, so this um, contest, you remember how I mentioned before in like the auto scrollers, how if you um, like don't do anything, the enemies don't. Oh, the enemies! <laughs> I'm acting like I'm in like Call of Duty or something. Um, the my opponents don't do anything. This is the only exception to that. These guys will get between like twenty and thirty thousand points, no matter what, uh, depending on the round. So I need to make sure that I get like a certain threshold, and then I can just kind of do whatever I want. So, uh, Mark, if you've got anything to read, uh, that would be a good time. Yeah, well, uh, Little Hollow uh, donated fifteen dollars, and he actually has a question for you. Ooh. What sound does a helicopter make? What sound does a helicopter make? Schwa 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 schwa. There you go, buddy. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Was it worth it? Have you been in a lot of helicopters, then? <laughs> I've only ever been in one helicopter, actually. Uh, as part of my army cadet training, because my mum thought I was too rebellious, so she made me go into the <laughs> army cadets. That's a, that's a, that's a good Eben fact for everyone. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, you can keep going, Mark, if you've uh, got any sponsors to plug or anything. Any thank yous? Yeah, of course. I would love to talk about our partner, Twitch. They. Uh, I love Twitch. They support. Yeah, they support the event ESA Winter 19 by uh, by promoting it, and we have been uh, invited to, to TwitchCon Europe. And of course, you can use Twitch Prime to support the event. 
for absolutely free if you already have uh, Amazon Prime. And then, uh, yeah, it's a big help to the event. Makes uh, makes the future events happen. So yep. thank you, everyone who subscribes with Twitch Prime. And thank you, Twitch itself. Yeah, be sure to get me a sub. Thank you. <laughs> so last 10 seconds here. Uh, we're going to make an absolute mockery out of George. And then we're just going to hang near the bike. Um, because the gang that Sharice mentioned earlier that we need to do tags for, we also need to do a couple of BMX goals to show that we're like proficient on a bike, as well as a skateboard. Um, and then the once you complete the goals, the person who like gives you the goals, this guy here, he um, he spawns in like a completely random location. So what we want to do is to minimize the amount of luck we need to do um, to like get around and speak to him. We're going to just pick this area because this is like the smallest area in the game that still has a BMX. So this first one is just like, you know, just ride around for 30 seconds and don't bail. In practice, I gave Sharice the controller and just let her ride around for a bit, but she kept falling over and she wasted a good like five minutes of the run. So unfortunately, she's been demoted to this professional masher instead. So unfortunate there. Ben didn't explain things right. The game explains <laughs> how, to, how to play. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, ugh. Don't, don't so rope me into this. <laughs> so yeah. unfortunately we got Bad the teacher. yeah. Unfortunately we got the like the worst possible spawn. But as I say, because it's the am jam, it's not too bad. Uh, it's gone back into the decent location, which is fine. So we need to do three of these. This is the third one coming up. And then I guess another lore update is that this is kind of like where the, like the second act comes in, because we won the amateur escape competition, and then uh, Tony Hawk in the cutscene that we skipped gives us like an interview. And he goes, hey, great job, man. Uh, where did you learn all these skills? And we go, oh, a person called Iggy Van Zandt taught me all these moves in like a local skate ranch that I go to. Now, we don't know this, but Iggy is actually a fugitive running from the police. So as soon as we dead name him in the, uh, in the interview, the police come to the skate ranch and arrest him. Now, because it's completely our fault, everybody but Mindy hates us now. So... The next act of the game is basically like saving everyone uh, from jail or from gangs that they get captured by. So they're no longer haters, essentially. So we need to hop to the skate ranch here where the uh, the cutscene is going to be. So as you just heard on the radio there, that's basically Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk announcing to the world that a fugitive is here. And then by the time we get there, the police will have already arrived. The Twitch cops are coming to uh, take him away. Do you like Mindy, Ben? I don't like Mindy. Why not? I don't know. I'm just out of everybody that bailed and you know hates you now, she's the only one that likes you, pretty yeah, much but, in the game. Uh, she's How right. can you not like her? She's alright. Min Mindy is the uh, the girl for those who don't know. Uh, maybe you played it as a kid. A lot of people say that Mindy is like you know the best yeah. girl. I don't agree. Uh, not a big fan of Mindy. But I, I will admit that. Uh, when she is, you know, like the, uh, the the last shoulder to cry on, that's that's pretty nice. But aside oh, from that, you're just using her. Aside, yeah. I thought you respected women, Ben. What is this? Uh, <laughs> so, so those who uh, don't know, uh, I wore this T-shirt during ESA Summer, and of course, because Sharice was here, I had to uh, show it off again. I'll just do it now while we've got a bit of time. Sharice, hold the control, please. Okay. Don't bail, please. You'll lose me time. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. Any, anyone a big fan of the shirt? Be sure to get them at ebenarchive.com. Coupon code Eben. A lot of people actually uh, donated for the shirt last year, you know. Mm -hmm. Like every time I would, you know, flex it. So, you know, just doing my thing for charity. That's the only reason I have it. It's just How kind I, of you. I just love charity, you know. You're so thoughtful. Yeah. So, this is just our learning Flatland. We need this for a uh, competition with Day One Song that we're going to have uh, in just a moment. This is the last trick here. Bam, we're done. So this next uh, section, you see where the police cars are, just there. Uh, that's the entrance to Santa Monica, but it's unfortunately blocked off by the police. So in order to get there, we need to like uh, get these skate club guys to cause a commotion. But first, we need to like you know, in typical Tony Hawk fashion, prove that we're the best. So the way we do that is uh, doing some cool little lip tricks and uh, go on to the second beam. We're uh, not quite as proficient as they are, as you can see. We, we're kind of wobbling. <laughs> we're, uh, but these guys are these guys are as still as a statue right now. Those guys are uh, they've they've, they've uh, channeled their chi. 
And uh, yeah, so this one you don't actually have to go into the second beam. You can just like lip anywhere you want. And then the police are indeed gone. And then before we get into Santa Monica, we uh, we just need to out flatland everyone. Uh, you don't actually need to do flatland. You can just kind of do whatever you want. Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but this is another example of, like, you do nothing, and then at the last second you do a combo. And then we beat them. Uh, so there's a couple more of these. So, uh, Mark, if you uh, want to plug another sponsor or anything, it's a good time. I would love to. Of course. Damn straight. We're all very familiar with our partner, Elgato. Thank uh Thank you, Elgato, for um, providing the streaming pods in the back. They are open for everyone, and they uh, they make it so that, you know, full-time full streamers who visit ESA can still uh, stay connected with their audience while on the road. Maybe so I've thank you very much for El to Elgato for providing those. So the last uh, Flat Iron competition is a day one song. Uh, essentially, the lore is here. Like, you would never actually beat day one song as, like, an amateur skater in a competition. But uh, the classic cop-out answer in the cutscene is he goes, I'm going to let you win, but just make it look competitive. It's the kind of equivalent of, like, I was just pretending to be bad at the game, you know? So, mm -hmm. but we'll let day one, day one off. Yeah, he's a good lad. He's a good lad. So, and then we'll get access into Santa Monica. The first goal that we're going to do in Santa Monica has one of the, uh, the harder butt slaps to do. Because every butt slap, as you've seen, we've done so far has been off quite a big surface. But the one uh, that we're going to do it off uh, in this first goal is like a really small kicker, which gives you like a lot less leeway um, in order to like kick off and get all the height that you need. So uh, hopefully, got a second try in practice, so we'll go for a, we'll go for first try. It's not that hard. I just I'm just uh, I'm not too good. Not too good. Uh, after watching Riley. Uh, you know, choke so too. I hope it's uh, not rubbed off on me. All the lack of skill. So yeah, all of these goals are essentially just like, don't touch the ground. So this first one, you just like grind across. And then he hops onto the roof and he's like, can you make it here? Usually you have to grind all the way around. But we're, uh, we're just going to butt slap off this tiny little kicker here. So hopefully you will nail this. Oh, of course. I actually did get the butt slap, but in a certain place, like there, it uh, resets you. Like that. So, there we go. Just hop back up. Nice. Oh. Hey, and then the last one, uh, that's this one's supposed to be like, really complicated. You have to go like all the way around. But if you just time this correctly, you can just hop across the uh, two boards like this. Yeah! yeah. Oh dear. Ooh. Oh dear. That, that's, that's a ride dog tier bail, that is. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually... How much was it for Charity Ben? What's that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that, actually. Uh, so during my ESA summer run, uh, I did uh, $5 to save the children every time I fell off my board. Of course, on easy, it's a lot uh, more difficult to bail. So I figured I'd up the ante to 10. So if anyone's been counting, I think we're at 30 right now. Yeah, so yeah, we'll go with that. If anyone wants to go back in the VOD and check and, uh, you know... Catch up to me, tweet me, and say, "Actually, Ben, you owe like two hundred dollars to the charity." I'll be, uh, I'll be sure to block you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> wow. Yeah, be sure to uh, correct me. But I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I've bailed three times. Do you know how many times I've bailed? I counted at least two. At least two. At okay. Least two. So we're pretty much, yeah, two, three, pretty, pretty much bang on the money. So we'll go with three because I don't want to scam the charity out ten dollars. You know, I don't want to. I want to get invited back to this marathon, hopefully. So that's intentional, by the way. That's like a little shortcut. Technically a bail, but but it's an intentional one, so it doesn't count. Intentional, yeah. There's quite a few of those, so I'd I'd be very poor if I had to donate for all oh. the intentional ones. Uh, so yeah, we're doing the tags here again in Santa Monica. Uh, this is the last city that we need to do them in, apart from the one that I deliberately missed in. Uh, in downtown and then all of santa monica is basically going like in like a big sweep uh, there's a couple of skate ranch pieces that we need to do and also uh, we need to like impress this guy um, apparently doing a like a lip trick like this all around a ferris wheel which is already not humanly possible uh but this is like just you know the start like you do this and he's like nah, whatever dude <laughs> 
And now he's like, you know, also you can do this. Uh, so usually you have to like grind all the way around here, but as long as you keep the combo and then start it at a certain place, you can get the halfway Dude, goal luck, uh, much no quicker. All luck, no skill. I just accidentally, luckily did that strat. It's uh, pure luck. So now we've got to take out all these birds. Um, you know, I, I, I'm only doing it because I have to, Shreese, I promise. Mm -hmm. But uh, they're going to... Uh, they're flying away. That's why all the feathers are coming out. They're, <laughs> they're just they're just uh, <laughs> mol molting for the for the summer or whatever it is. The birds molt. Dogs do, right? But I don't know if birds do. A a any uh, any bird experts in chat? Be sure to uh, uh, fact check me on that one. So this is like my least favorite goal in the game. It's really short, but it can be super hit or miss. Essentially, Mindy wants you to steal this uh, shark piece. Uh, you hop onto it, bank drop, which is fine. And then you have to stall on it three times. Now, of course, stalling is for rails. And this is not a rail. So, like, they intend you to stall on it. But as you can see, like, that was a clearly a stall. And it just kind of bonks you off it. So you can, like, lose a lot of runs to this. It's, uh, it's very annoying to do. Or you can just sometimes do it perfectly, like, bang on. Slipped off again there. This is, uh... Okay, okay, buddy. All right, so we got knocked off three times. That is, uh, that is, never, literally, never happened before. So we'll uh, we'll try it again. This is a. Uh, might as well walk outside and get hit by lightning at this point. That was a. Uh, I've never been trolled so hard on that goal in my entire life. It's okay. It was first try, no one saw. Yeah, yeah, first try. Okay, can we edit that out in, the, <laughs> in post editing? So we'll grab some more stats here. We don't actually need them. But we're going to be going on like a boat uh, boat ride coming up. And there's not really a whole lot to do. So again, as we're I mentioned before, uh, we're just going to get some stats while we're kind of doing nothing. Um, usually in runs, you would like save and quit the second a certain part of the boat ride loads. But again, even though, again, I've never crashed there, I'm uh, not going to risk it. So, yeah, there's actually a lot of like really good save and quits you can do in Santa Monica. Like right here. Uh, now, after speaking to Tony Alva, you spawn like right at the pier, and then you have to go to the bus to Hollywood to buy an alien suit to go and uh, intimidate one of the circus guys. So here, you would just save and quit, and it would spawn you all the way back at the bus, which saves like you know 15 seconds maybe. But unfortunately, we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna play it safe. So this is this is where you would spawn if you were to save and quit. So go to Hollywood, and then buy the alien suit. This is uh. Welcome to the shop. Good looking shirt. Good shirt. Pretty cute, right? What do you think? I think it's cute. Thank you. It's a cute. So we deliberately missed the uh, the last spray guy here because we just do it once we grab the once we grab the graffiti tag, and then we're gonna butt slap up here. A lot of butt slapping. Anyone need their butt slap? Let me know because I've got I've got plenty. You should be butt slapping yourself. I'll give myself, if I do a good run, I'll give myself a butt slap at okay. the end as a reward. Seems good. Yeah. So here, uh, Tony Alva wants us to like make our own move, but I'm not really interesting enough. So instead, I'm just going to make a front side spin. You can make some really cool uh, creative tricks, but uh, I'm not going to because it's slow. So we're just going to do a front side spin in front of the guy. And then this guy's like a conspiracy theorist or something. He, uh, for some reason, he's like a circus act, but... He doesn't like aliens, so. So instead, we're gonna. Oh, I'm missing all these. So yeah, we hop in an alien suit and we start doing tricks in front of him, and that's enough to make him leave. Later, dude. And then we gain access to the oil rig. Uh, some of you may know the oil rig because it was a level in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. It's exactly the same level, except uh, like if you know and from, from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, it's like an extra level. Nice. Um, but you couldn't do anything on there. It was like you just kind of skated. So Thor basically like redid the level, but instead you uh, you can actually do goals and stuff on it now. So once you get here, uh, as you can see like the icons at the top and the radar, that means we're still in Santa Monica. But the second they load into the oil rig is where you would usually quit out. Uh, but again, not going to do that, just to be safe. But the uh, the oil rig has some uh, tricky goals, because 
oil rigs aren't really meant to be skated on, so a lot of the, like, what you would usually call rails are just, like, concrete ledges that are really awkward to grind on. And then there's one goal where you have to, like, grind up a really big spiral and then jump off at a certain time and stick a slap, and it's, like, it's, it's weird, like, how it works. Um, it looks really easy, but if you jump, like, too early, you just, like, even though you should make it, the goal just doesn't count. So you have to like time it way more than you would uh, when, you, when than you would are think. You so it's just kind of like an unfinished goal. But these ones are fairly simple. And then in uh, if you've ever played a Tony Hawk or skate game before, you would know that they always have to have at least one jump the shark related um, like reference, I guess. And this is the one in American Wasteland in this goal. Just jump over the shark. Almost got us, monk ass. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. And then we'll uh, hop over here. Them up, take this. And then a couple of these goals uh, require you to like grind the upwards. Um, there's one that's like uh, coming up here, which is like super awful. Because this one is not too bad. You kind of grind up and then go back down again. But the other one, there's like three different blast caps and they're all above each other. So to do it optimally in one combo is just dreadful. It's probably like one of my least favorite ones. So let's see if I can get this jump here. It's uh, kind of tricky. But... Nice. Good stuff. So we'll hop down and then this goal is really easy. Just uh, involves you having to um, hit a certain spot on this ledge. Uh, it's actually possible to clip right through that ledge and you'll fail the goal. Uh, it's only ever happened to me once, but I'm, uh, I'm waiting for it to happen nice, again. Hey. On a nice PB and then you just uh, clip through the wall and die. It's uh, pretty unfortunate. So this is the goal that I was talking about. It's um, the, the incline where you have to grind here is insanely high. So you have to be like, very precise with your inputs. Of course I make it look very easy, but that's uh, it's very tricky. And then the last one here is you just need to uh, go and chase a helicopter, which shows you like the exit to the oil rig. Uh, we can't take the boat for some law reason. I can't remember exactly why, but we can't take the boat back. Oh dear. Oh. We'll count that as a bail. We'll count that. So here, usually uh, when you spine transfer, there's like a really big slow motion sequence, like a, like a action sequence. But if you just boneless over it and then acid drop in, it has exactly the same thing, but you skip all the slow motion. So here, once we load back in Santa Monica again, uh, you would usually uh, save and quit because we're in the same place as we were when we're on the pier. But we're just going to skip back. And then once we go to the skate ranch to uh, do a goal there, it's time for the uh, the gang stuff, Sharice. We're going to go and prove ourselves as the big lads. Mm -hmm. The big lads and lasses. Do you remember the name of the gang? I don't think I ever explicitly told no, you. No, I that, don't uh, think you did. So, kind of, kind of, <laughs> kind of a, uh, oh, Sharice, you're such a noob. You don't know the answer to that I question that I never you told you. you know? But uh, these guys are the Black Widows. Um, you have to do a couple of things to impress them. Uh, you have to not only show that you're a good skateboarder, but as you mentioned before, you also need to prove that you're a good uh, biker or BMXer. And also that you're good at graffiti. And then the last thing you have to do is get a big, awful spider tattoo on your uh, torso. <laughs> now, if my friends were in trouble, I would never personally um, get a big, you know, tattoo on my chest just to impress a gang to save them. I would just be like, oh, you're on your own, buddy. Does that make me a bad person? Probably, right? Sharice, if I got captured by a gang, <laughs> would you get a big, uh, a big no. spider tattoo to save me? No. You're an awful person. I know. <laughs> so once we're going to deal with the Black Widows, they're all located around different places in downtown. And um, the downtown uh, graffiti that we deliberately missed, we're going to do that now. It's uh, pretty much on the way. So it's just up here. And then this is the last one that we need to do. So it's convenient that we'd like finish them all. And then immediately we need to do the graffiti goal. 
if it was a really tiny one that I could hide, I'd, I'd do it. You, you, you carried on thinking about it. <laughs> you? You're like, wait, <laughs> am I a bad person? <laughs> the answer is yes. Yeah. You mean like a really like small one on like uh, yeah, here, like so you can like yes. wear clothes and yeah. Like a really tiny one. Yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah. on the like the sole of my foot. <laughs> Don't you'll get all right. the uh, the the people who like feet in chat coming what? after oh, you if you keep though. mentioning them. Um. So here in uh, new game plus runs, you would um, you would not create a graphic here because as long as you it's loaded separately to the save file, so you would already have it like set. Um, but in new game, you have to make it fresh every single time. Perfect. Don't you think that was just beautiful? That graphic. No answer. <laughs> take, take that as a no. Yeah, we'll, we'll get him next time. So now we need to go and get the tattoo. Let's see, it's uh, it's terrible. It's pretty bad. But you've got to admit, our skateboarder, our unnamed protagonist, is a good lad for doing it. For saving his boys. Yeah, he's, he's a nice one. So there you go. There's the tattoo. Only thirty dollars too for a big tattoo like that. That's, That's probably why it's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty decent deal though. If you wanna, if any of you want a tattoo, be sure to hop down to uh, the the Black Widow shop in Santa Monica. So now, once we've got all this sorted, then we go and uh, prove ourselves to Hector. Hector's a good lad. Love a bit of Hector. This goal on the harder difficulties is one of the hardest goals in the game because of uh, in this game we we. Well, in this run, we don't max our, like, balance stats at all. So doing this on, like, sick, for example, with, um, with, like, zero manual stats is insanely hard. But it's fortunately a lot easier on, uh, on easy. So that was basically him saying, uh, there's graffitis everywhere. Come back to me once you've done them. But we're just gonna, you know, we've already done them. So we can just go ahead and start this goal. Um... Spat is a recurring character. Um, I don't know too much about him. I think he's deliberately kind of like pretty much anonymous. But he's just like a graffiti guy. He shows up in a lot of different games like Thug 2, for example. Um, and then if you're not quick enough on this cycle, then he will like overwrite your tag. So we're going to try and get the one cycle here. This kind of tricky jump. Whoa. Goofed it. Quick! I think we got it. We'll find out at the end of this. It might just finish anyway. Yeah, easy. So then uh, he says, like, find my friend. Um, he'll teach you how to ride BMX. But we've already done that in the Vans Park, so we can just hop on over. Sorry there, officer. We also uh, had Charisse having, uh, doing these goals, but uh, didn't go too well. I can do it now. Do you want to go for it? No, no. The, the, an the answer is no. I, I didn't even let you say anything. I don't even know why I asked. The answer was no. Oh. Never lucky. Yeah. Okay. Maybe if I had like a 115 estimate or something, we could uh, we could let you play about for a bit. But uh, this estimate isn't super lenient. I didn't I didn't decide to be a a, a peach and uh, put a 105 like he I did with VC. In me. I, I also don't believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to beat you around the bush, dear Sharice. I don't have any faith in your BMX skills. No. Sometimes you just got to let them down gently, you know. But you'll get them next time. You'll get them next time. So now we've impressed the, uh, the Black Widows. They let us into East LA, and this is where a couple of our friends are hanging out. Uh, Boone especially has been captured. I don't remember why, <laughs> nor do I remember where it explains it in the game, but uh, he's been captured. So we need to go and uh, we need to go and save him. But first, we need to get his uh, little jean shorts. By uh, first, we need to destroy these sprinklers. The hitboxes are absolutely tragic on this. So you just need to kind of like inch forward and smash it and hope you get it. Smash that B button. Then hop across, and then we're gonna find Boone. He's in a bit of a lewd situation. He's been uh, left in this little sewer pipe in his tighty whiteies. No idea why. You can make up your own little story as to why he's there. But uh, all right, Boone, how you doing, mate? He's already he, he's already got a skateboard, but for some reason we need to give him ours. And he's like, oh, thanks for the skateboard, buddy. <laughs> uh, yours I, is better. I don't question it. 
So, uh, is everyone ready for the uh, the best cutscene in the game? This is uh, this this is some animation at its finest. This is the kind of stuff I did in uh, like you know primary school. It's uh, it's great. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's it. Truly incredible. They just decided to give up uh, halfway through the animation. It was like, now nah, just drop him. Just drop him, mate. So there's a chance here uh, that we get this Skate Ranch piece, but we still don't get the text. Thankfully, we did. Uh, the text, excuse me, the little buy um, thing. So, Sharish, ready to mash? I'll uh, skip through this. Get off of my crane. So, remember, it's Shut X for this down. one. Okay. Yeah, I know. And I need to aim for you. Look, okay. Hey, hey, you Right, let's go. Go! Faster, Sharice, faster! I'm trying! We're gonna fail! Well, well if, you, if you put me nah. in pressure like that... <laughs> Always with the excuses. First, first morale was like, oh, Ben, you can't aim. You know, you can't aim. You're like, oh, you're too pressuring. God, just, just get it done. Get it done. I did. But first both try, you know, uh, both first try, excuse me. I'll let you off. I'll mm -hmm. let you off. It, it was alright. Wow. So yeah, now we've uh, we've we've uh, absolutely destroyed that construction worker. Just trying to do his job. We just knock him off like a 50 foot crane. Uh, but again, you know, Tony Hawk's loves loves to love to induce violence. So if you ever see a construction worker out and about, don't knock him off the cliff. It's uh, or off the lift. It's pretty rude. Just anything you see in this game, don't try it at home. Don't do it. Yeah, don't skateboard. It's for degenerates. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's harsh. Yep. Sometimes you got you got to hit people with the facts, you know. So what do you so, call yourself now that you're hey, skateboarding? Uh, hey, you need Are you a degenerate? A gamer. That's what I call <laughs> myself. <laughs> Sick of this heckling. Someone get this man out of here. <laughs> All right. So now we need to uh, go to Beverly Hills, which is where we'll meet up with uh, Murphy and Dave and Boone. And then this is like the pro goal section. So essentially what's going to happen is we need to get access to the skate ranch again because Iggy got arrested. We can't get to it anymore. Uh, so we need to create a skate video, which will then be released uh, with a lot of pros. And then we're going to we're going to release a video and then sell it and make a bunch of money, which then we, then we can use to buy the skate ranch back. So the first guy that we need to get, uh, the only guy that we kind of had the choice to get right now is Tony Hawk. Um, his moves are kind of weird if you were playing this game casually. Some of them don't make any sense. I'll kind of point them out as we go. But this, this, this one is fine. So he teaches you how to airwalk. Um, why he does all the extra stuff, I don't know. Because all you need to do is just... He's uh, flexing. Yeah. Weird flex turn he met, but okay. So, hop across to the airwalk. And then as you can see in that cutscene, I skipped it pretty fast. But he specifically says that you do a frontside hurricane. And he does it frontside. But if you do it frontside, you fail. You have to do it backside in the game. So, no idea why, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And then we do the gymnast plant, and then a uh, 900 spin, which is probably like his most um, like well-known move, I guess. And then once you've completed Tony's goal, you can then um, kind of like open up to all the different goals, uh, pro goals. And it's completely non-linear. Um, they're like scattered about all the different, um, all the different locations. So the one convenient here is uh, our good friend Dae Won Song, and his one is a uh, pretty easy. But essentially, yeah, they like even though we like beat them in competitions earlier, they want to say like you know we don't want to deal with a scrub, so we just need to do one of their like signature moves in order to show that we can hang. So next up is Mike V. Uh, he just requires you to do a load of um, like triple moves, which you'd never use again in the game. But you know, who's arguing? I'm convinced by the way that he says that audio track that they kind of spliced uh, the first half of the line together with the second line. Like he says, instead of going do a triple impossible, it goes like first do a triple impossible. Nice job. Now and I'm convinced that Mike Valley messed up that line. And instead of just making him redo it, they just spliced where he goofed it. But I noticed, Activision. Right I on, noticed. A triple heel flip? So triple heel flip is the last one. 
And then we'll go and see our man P-Rod. Who's a... I think this might be like his first and only appearance in a Tony Hawk game. Usually there's like a default crew that are in the Tony Hawk games. Like Bob Burnquist, uh, Bam Majera, obviously Tony Hawk. Uh, who else is in there? Like Wee Man. Like kind of like the Jackass crew, I guess. Uh, Chad Musco is in there. Um... But yeah, this is like, I think the first and only time you see Paul Rodriguez, which is weird, because like, Paul Rodriguez is like one of the most well-known street skaters of all time, so. Maybe he just was uh, too busy making like Plan B videos or something while they were they were making the, the game. So finally, we're going to hop to East LA, and we're going to do uh, Stevie Williams' goal. He teaches you basically how to use everything in a nollie stance, um, but you have to cheese a lot of them. Because, as we mentioned before, for some of the manual goals, we don't have enough stats to complete um, this, like, goal intentionally. So we have to cheese a lot of them. Because otherwise we just, like, don't get enough height. So, try and slap up to this roof if we can. Nice. Big slap, big slap. It's, I'll give myself a double butt slap on the, uh, the old behind once oh, I'm done with this run. Because that was good. Now, here. Look, now you... So yeah, so you need to hop into Nolly Stance. Uh, we're not going to make this jump, but you can just like hop if you're bored and then get back on again, nah, and it counts. Yo, and then for this next one, we can just hop up here to give ourselves a bit of extra height for the Nolly Hard Flip. Right, this one doesn't require any cheesing. This one's uh, pretty easy, unless you uh, you goof it like I did. It's fine. And then this next one is pretty tricky. You have to do like you have to jump as late as possible. Let's see if we get it. That should be good. But as you can see, like even if you jump as late as possible, you just about make it. And then the final one is the bone dolly. And then once you've done um, X amount, that's not a bone dolly, Ben. Once you've done X amount of pro goals, then Bam unlocks in East LA, which is why we're here. Um, because he's like right next to the where we need to go. So it's convenient to just do Stevie, and then Bam spawns here, just up the road. And then uh, just on our left here is where we need to go next. So. Unfortunately, Bam Majera's goal is uh, very strange. You have to do a couple of skate tricks, which makes sense. And then uh, he, he gets into a bet with a hobo where you can't ride a shopping cart all the way down a hill. And whoever wins gets to unleash a big fart in the other person's face. <laughs> So a typical Bam Majera goal. So we do it, and then this is what happens in the cutscene. Dude, you got incoming! <laughs> no sound, no nothing, just silent but deadly, and <laughs> he's dead, apparently. <laughs> they, they really, they, this, this is why you skip the cutscenes in the uh, speedrun, because they're, they're not very good. So now the last thing we need money for in this game, paying the Taco Bell truck lady to just destroy this entrance to the casino. And then this is the last section in the game, uh, only a couple of minutes long, and then it's the kind of like last section. So this this kind of bit, there's no real law to it. It's just kind of, we're all just gonna go into the abandoned casino and mess about essentially. So we'll hop around here and um, we're gonna what did you look like? Uh, they, uh, Hit some uh, old ladies, because uh, Iggy Van Zan apparently his uh, average target audience for fans is like 65, so they're all all the groupies are coming to see him, and uh, we need to we need to hold them off a bit, like fort defense style. So unfortunately, fell down there. I should have uh, held left. That's my bad. But we can just hop up here. It's not a big deal. And then, oh dear. Oh well, that's uh, <laughs> that's that's a that's big fine. old bell. Uh, dearie me. I'm not, I'm not going to have enough money for a plane ticket home at this point. <laughs> yeah. So this is just easy spine transfer kickflip into spine transfer triple kickflip. Um, sometimes there, once you kind of land, you can clip right through the pool, which makes you have to come back up again. Uh, it's never actually happened to me, but I've seen it happen to a lot of other runners. So instead of having like an Eben only glitch, it's like the opposite, which is very rare. And then this is the penultimate goal here. We just stall on this thing. Puts us right next to the last goal. All right. Yeah. Right. And uh, Nozar actually got uh, gave me a reference for when to uh, press up and A here for that light box. Because I could never figure out how to do it uh, efficiently. And then Nozlar, who doesn't run this game, just went, you should do it here. And it just works. So, good on him. Good lad. 
He got mod in my chat for that, you know? So, Damn. if anyone wants mod in my chat, if you've been really itching to get moderator in my chat room, just find a nice setup for uh, for, a, for a game I run, and I'll uh, I'll probably mod you. Oh, let's go this way. So this is the final section. Um, essentially, we get like caught in the casino, and we need to escape back uh, away from the cops. And you basically like go all the way through, um, and avoid like a police helicopter. It's actually really difficult on the high, higher difficulties because the police like actually are competent. But on this section uh, in easy, you can basically kind of go wherever you want. So it's all just more about you know optimizing uh, the path that you take. So we're scooting on back. Uh, unfortunately, we can't use the bus or anything. So there is one kind of like little skip here you can do. Uh, as I say, like this, this is pretty linear. You're forced to go this uh, in certain directions. But you can uh, skip over this little... Uh, saves you going around here if you just do this. You can butt slap, but this is like the way that I know how to do it. So I'm going to do it this way. And then you can just hop up off like this. And this puts you right back to the entrance. Then we skidoo on down. Uh, one thing I, I forgot to mention earlier, but you can kind of notice it here. Is when you skate through transitions, your speed is like hard capped. Because in this game, they wanted to do uh, a game... A Tony Hawk game that was open world quote-unquote open world uh, without any loading screens so instead of actually having a loading screen they just like hard cap your speed whenever you transition from one level to another so you see that I was going really fast and then I just get insta capped again so I don't know about you guys but I'd rather just have a loading screen than have this because this is just pretty boring unfortunately so the last uh, section here you have to dodge the cops but their vertical hitbox goes all the way up so even though I'm on the uh, the wire here, the cops that are on the ground can still knock me off my board. So we need to uh, hop off here. And then we hop back to the ranch. Uh, Sharish, do you want to get ready on time? Smash Which that one? button. This one? Yeah, the yellow one. Okay. I'll tell you when to press it. Mm -hmm. It's just when we uh, get to this cutscene here. And time. <laughs> So, uh, unlike most people on this marathon, I've actually been pretty accurate with my estimates. 259 is pretty good, pretty good. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Just throwing jabs at everybody. Yeah, I mean, Damn. yeah. We need Charlie to donate some more money, so help the kids. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much to everyone uh, who's been around. Everyone who watched live. Sharice, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, morale, you know, we'll get them next time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she, she was going to be on couch, but she, uh, she didn't want to do it, so. Unlu unlucky there. Can't even defend yourself now. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't even got a headset anymore. So, uh, but yeah. So, uh, if you want to learn anything about this game or Tony Hawk's Underground 2, which you just saw by Rydog, um, I have tutorials for those. And there's a Tony Hawk speeder on the Discord if you want to meet other people who can, um, you know, run these games pretty fast. Um, the speedrun.com leaderboards are in the usual places. Uh, but yeah. Aside from that, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, what have we got next? Anyone know? I didn't, I didn't look it up before, but uh, yeah, whatever's next, um, enjoy the run. So, thank you.